Hi everybody, welcome back. It's week 13. We're almost to the end of the road. By that I mean the end of the semester. You are also at the end of your literary journalism assignment. And uh, final draft is due this week, Thursday. Uh, if you can't meet that deadline for whatever reason, reach out to me because we have to budget our time. We only have two and a half weeks left of the semester. Is that crazy? And in that time we have a new assignment. It's called Transforming the Essay. But we'll get to that in a minute. This week you're going to uh, submit your final, 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 final draft. Um, I hope you're getting good feedback from your partners in uh, discussion in the peer review. I will respond to you through my discussion feedback. Um, I, instead of posting a general, hey y'all pay attention to this because I don't think a lot of people saw that when I posted it last time, I will try to give you some general commentary in my feedback to you in your discussion board um, feedback. Um, that said, it's not going to be detailed. If you want detailed feedback about your essay, please sign up for a conference with me. Uh, the sign-up sheet is in, or the sign-up tool is in the readings, uh, resources, and assignments tab on this um, in this week's module. If those times don't work for you and you want one-on-one -on -one help, please let me know. We'll work something out. Also, this week you have an extra credit opportunity if you attend the virtual annual author on bleh, authors event. Yeah, I work with words for a living, but I can't speak them. Um, <clears throat> it is on Thursday, uh, 7 to 9. If you want to sign up for the Writer's Workshop, which is really awesome, as do so between 2 and 3. Um, the Writer's Workshop and the, the headliner is Erica Wirth, a Native American poet, um, author of novels and essays, and she is a rising star, so I hope you enjoy that. You will also witness um, your college peers reading works that they've published in this edition of Leonardo, our literary magazine. I don't know if you've submitted. If you did submit, um, it's possible your work is published too, so you might want to check that out. If you haven't submitted in the past or you're interested in doing so, um, submissions will or calls for submissions will open again in the fall. Um, you do need to register to attend, but if you give me a little summary and reflection, you can get some points. Okay, let's go to this week's uh, module. All right, we are going to be transforming, but let's go through this. We, I'm not going to show you the module overview because you can do that. Um, here we go. Um, we are moving into a new unit. Uh, it is a uh, an experiment with form. The forms you may choose from are the collage, the hermit crab, or the graphic memoir. And to get to uh, some background understanding of what those are, please read Tell It Slant um, in, from Chapter 9, the collage essay. These are really short. The Hermit Crab and the graphic memoir. They'll at least get your feet wet and that'll help you out a lot. Um, the prompt is here, but it's also further into the uh, module. Don't forget to sign up for a conference if you haven't already. You do get 10 points for conferencing. Just let me know that. Okay, you've got that journal assignment, and you get extra credit if you go to the event and write about it. Moving forward, um, you'll submit your final draft here. Um, if you need help with formatting your uh, Works Cited page, that's there. Uh, some tips and tools. If you want to review the, the rubric, it's here. <clears throat> that puppy's due. We're moving on. You're going to reflect on your writing experience regarding the literary journalism um, essay. Be specific. Please point out passages you want me to appreciate. I want to see what you're proud of. I really do. And I also want to see what you've changed. How has your essay grown? How have you grown as a writer? I'd like to see what you think is going on in your experience. Which activities or assignments were most helpful to you as you prepared your essay? Now that seems like I'm fishing for you know, good news, but if, if the bad if it's bad news like this did not help, let me know that too. Okay, that's good information. Um anything else you want me to know, let me know. Feel free to add um, comments of any sort here and um, I learn from you just so you know. And here is the prompt for um, transforming the essay. It'll be due Thursday of week 15, so that's coming right up. You choose one, 
the prompt is here. And it includes some groovy um, embedded, oh, it was already open, that was dumb. Okay, um, so a collage, and this PowerPoint will explain it, is kind of a, a collection of seemingly disparate elements that you put together and through the manner that you arrange them, whether you juxtapose things that are, seem opposite or related or whatever, um, you can create new meaning out of what might on the surface appear to be a hodgepodge. And uh, it's it's a fun project. You've got, you, you know what a collage is. You probably did collages in elementary school where you took bits of a magazine here and a, some clip art there and a found object there and you got your Elmer's glue and you put it together. Well, this is a little more sophisticated than that, but it's along the same philosophy. So look for a theme, an idea that you think could be illustrated with disparate elements, and you can put them together. Um, they can be drawn from your blogs and journals, they can be drawn from elements of past essays, or it can be altogether new material. Entirely cool. Um, there are model essays I'll show you in a moment. <clears throat> Another option is the Hermit Crab. The Hermit Crab essay is a fun um, little project. Um, as you know, her hermit crabs don't have shells of their own, and they go around the world looking for shells that will fit them, even though they might not necessarily be of their nature. So a hermit crab might climb into a conch shell or into um, something completely unrelated. Well, a hermit crab essay is a personal essay, a, a narrative, or not narrative, but a personal essay that lives inside another form. The form could be a business letter, menu, um, memo, uh, game instructions, crossword puzzles, um, or uh, a how-to manual, um, a resume, a job application. As you'll see in this week's <coughs> module, you'll see read the readings. Um, one of them is an exam, uh, instructions for how to take a math exam. Uh, and so on. So it's actually a really fun and creative way to go about this. Um, another option, of course, is the graphic memoir. If any of you are talented at drawing, um, and I know many of you might be interested in the graphic memoir because it's it's just a, a stretch. It's a new way of thinking about your work, but also it combines the visual with the, the written. Um, so this will walk you through steps. And um, But each one of these requires a reflection paragraph. So don't forget that part. When you're going through your assignment, make sure you look at the requirements. Each one of these asks you to reflect on what you did and why it worked and why what was challenging. You know, what was your goal? What do you want to have happen? So please take a look at that. All righty. <clears throat> Here we have um, a collection of model essays, some by professionals and some by students. Um, and I've, I'm going to—I I know I've got more hermit crabs to share with you and more collages. Um, but as I say, um, these are actually great reading. So I hope you read all of them. They're all short. Uh, this one, as I say, <clears throat> will knock your socks off, and it's in, in tell it slant. Here's your um, extra credit assignment if you so desire. Questions are here. And that's the deal for this week. <clears throat> if, <clears throat> I'm so sorry. If you have questions, concerns, um, if you're struggling in any way, don't wait for a crisis. Please let me know. If you just want to chat and say, hey, I'm doing this cool thing, I'd be delighted. So uh, my office hours, as you know, are on Thursday at 2. I'll be in our Zoom room. Otherwise, if you'd like to sign up for a Calendly event with me, event, that's not fancy, um, a conference, let me know. If you can't do any of those things but you have questions, send me an email. I am happy to work with you. So take care. Have a good week. Uh, be creative. And as always, I look forward to reading your writing. Bye.